TV and happy Halloween! And yes, I am still dressed as Shigo from Kim Possible. I thought because I just filmed my last video, I might as well film this one still in costume because yes, it is Halloween. I feel like my black lipstick is slowly coming off. Doesn't it kind of look like a mustache? It does a little bit, doesn't it? I embrace this mustache. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about banned controversial toys. You guys know I've been doing this type of series for so, so long now. And if you guys owned any of the items that I'm about to talk about, definitely comment it down below. We're just gonna jump right into today's video talking about the very first toy and this one is called Elmo Knows Your Name. I mean that packaging and name already is terrifying. Why would they do that? Elmo Knows Your Name is a Sesame Street talking electronic plush toy made in 2005 by Fisher Price. Elmo is capable of saying 100 personalized phrases and sentences reflecting children's names, birth dates, family, and personal traits. Now apparently when this was first launched, Elmo was able to learn 1500 names right away. And he also has this internal clock that knows what time of day it is. And he will speak randomly at times, depending on how the parents program it. So he lets the kids know when it's time to wake up, when it's time for lunch, when it's time for bed. Really weird. And I think that was the first very creepy thing about this toy. The fact that you could turn it off and put it beside you while you were sleeping or on the floor or on a shelf. And as soon as the sun came up in the morning, Elmo would be like, good morning, wake up. Or when you're falling asleep at night, he'll be like, good night, Timothy, or whatever your name is. Now there's actually a startling true story back from 2007. It was all over the news. There was this two year old boy who lived in Florida. His name was James. And this boy's mother literally went to the press with this talking Elmo toy that she had saying that it kept telling her child, kill James, like over and over again. That's all it would say, just kill James. The toy would say it so much that the two year old started repeating the phrase to people. And that's why she contacted the news and it went viral. It is, it is really scary. So I don't know if that was a prank, a malfunction, or if Elmo just is after us. All right, the next controversial toy was the American Girl doll named Gwen. Gwen came out in 2009 and the story behind her was that she was a homeless girl for some of the book, living in her mom's car before moving to a homeless shelter and then an apartment. Some people were left scratching their heads about why this doll was even made, especially because the doll is really expensive. It retails for $100. And everyone can agree that youth homelessness is a really big deal and we should be taking that seriously. But raising awareness through expensive dolls that don't donate money to charity seems to be a weird way to go about it. So people were just really angry, returning the dolls, demanding that they would be discontinued. And American Girl actually did respond to this controversy they reaffirm that they do donate to charities to help the homeless and I really hope that they are following through with that statement because like I said it is a very important issue and why create a homeless American Girl doll for so much money if you're not doing anything about it you know what I mean so in a way I do get why people were upset but comment down below what you think about this do you think it's as big as a deal as people are making it did you ever own this doll I really want to know comment down below next we have the Wendy Walker doll the Wendy Walker doll dolls came out in the 1970s and they instantly became popular because no one had ever seen a doll that would actually walk beside you. And I mean, looking back on this doll existing, it would have been so creepy to see. But back then, everyone wanted this for Christmas. It was like the thing. Now, the package says, hold Wendy's hand and watch her walk with you. Wendy is very large, 27 inches tall. Wendy is as big as many of the young children that play with her. So when little kids got this doll for Christmas, it was literally the size of them and it would walk beside them. Are you kidding me? And it, She also has realistic eyes that close when she lies down, which a lot of dolls still do that. Now, during my research for this video, I actually saw a lot of people trying to sell their old Wendy Walker dolls on Facebook Marketplace. I saw this listing that literally says, Wendy has been returned to me after many years from a house clean out. She is big and scary and starey. Consider using her as a Halloween prop. Her eyes move and still work. Age has not been kind and now she has spider veins. Please take her off my hands. No, thank you. <laughs> I read this one story from a lady who said that when she was five years old, she was walking with the doll and she'll never forget the moment she saw the doll's head completely turn to 
look at her. And obviously that is not a part of what the doll is supposed to do. It's supposed to just walk beside you. It's not supposed to turn its head and like look at you. And lastly, we have the Lisa Frank stationery. It felt like everyone in the 90s went to school with a backpack full of Lisa Frank stationery, stickers, and pencil cases. The brand always had these adorable illustrations of unicorns and leopards and other cute little animals. I mean, I remember my room being filled with this stuff. I loved the colors, I loved the stickers, it was everything to me. But what shocked me while doing research for this video is that this company had a really horrible reputation. Now, what I'm gonna say is all alleged, so don't come for me, it's alleged. It says that former employees describe the founder, Lisa Frank, and her company as abusive. There's even a quote from an old employee who used to work there that said, it was like the worst place I'd ever worked at, which is kind of ironic given that they have rainbows and unicorns everywhere. Yeah, that's pretty ironic, unfortunately. Employees said Lisa and her ex-husband would loudly scream at employees, forbid co-workers from speaking to each other, and once even put chains and padlocks on the door to keep employees from leaving on time. Now, surprisingly, the company is still running to this day, and I think they have like denied these accusations, but like tons of employees came forward. So it kind of puts a bad taste in my mouth whenever I see these products now, but who knows? Take it for what you will. This information is all available online. That's where I found it. Everyone's talking about it, but who really knows, right? Anyways, so guys, those are the controversial banned creepy toys that I wanted to talk about today. If you want me to continue this series as usual, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. If there's any specific item that you want me to talk about, also comment it down below. And don't forget, today is Halloween, so if you would like any of the remainder Halloween products, the Halloween mystery box, any items, jewelry, scarves, we have a lot of really awesome autumn Halloween items still on the website available. So I will put that link down below for you. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!